never seen this kind of love before. The program you're about to watch contains stories of real people. Today, as you watch, expect to be inspired, transformed, and healed. Welcome to Peculiar Moments Global, where every moment is supernatural. Your love story is next. My name is Somadina Fivo and I'm an event coordinator and also an event decorator. I'm on the spotlight of Peculiar Moments Global and this is my impact story. Yeah, so my love story is that God loves me. I know, yeah, but he has proven himself countless times for me. So one of the ones that stand out for me is how firstly, yeah, he healed my mom from having a kidney problem. Like, yeah, so God is good. And secondly, I've seen how God just uses that thing that feel like it is nothing to glorify himself. Yeah, far back 2014, I actually bombed into a face care physician where they would teach us decoration, pastry, and everything. So before then, of course, my mom is a trader. I do help her out with her business whenever we are back from school to sell. And of course, my name is Favor too, so I don't know how I do it, but I just sell her plantain, I come back, and of course, so it's fine, yeah. So this holiday, this particular holiday, I thought I want to go and learn this skill. So I know you come as this day, how do we eat, you know, coming from that kind of family, how do you eat? I'm like, we'll still eat. I didn't know much, but there's this thing that was just pushing me. I think it's the hand of God. Yeah, it's clear and now that was pushing me. Just go, baby, go, baby. You can't do it. So that's how I entered this skill. She didn't really, she wasn't happy, but I stubbornly went into it and I learned. Yeah, we will come back. They say, okay, give us material. She will not give me. That, of course, didn't make me see less of her. I just know that she loved me selling. So we had to put it in the way that if I come back from my skill position, I will still go back and sell. And I will still sell. You get So she felt like, okay, this thing is working. This thing on her is working. So that's how she allowed me. I finished and I went back to school. So going back to school, I started telling my classmates, I do ushering job, I do this, I do that. Of course, they're like, who is this? Our classmate talk that is doing this kind of thing. But of course, the, there is progress in it. But every time I carry my my class my classmates, the female ones to ushering job, it's easy. They will come back and spread the good news. Like I ah, follow this female, they will come and be beating me. Ah, boss, I want to grab like okay, this thing is working. You get so I've done this job for over this decade, and I've had some bad experiences. You know when you don't have mentor, but you just love this thing. You want to, you don't know how they are doing it out there, but you're just doing it. I don't have materials. It was so worse down to napkin, the list in every decorator we have. But I rent everything. I would just finish work. Everybody knew my house. They would come and help me out to do the work. But I will come back as though nothing happened. There is no profit. I've exhausted all the money in buying accessories just to do the job. This is what I went through as a decorator behind the scene. Until I know God's hand, but it was becoming clearer how he, how he gave me somebody that... We can cut up one now in butter cut. Yes, I, I I thank you so much, boss. Yes, so I I climbed on his shoulder. I saw my boss doing seven jobs in a week. However, now you know, so I'll just go with assist and finish the job. But I, I don't I, I I didn't stop speaking words from what my pastor, my mentor have taught us. I would just see those things I like. I'm like like this in me and more. I'm this kind of person recognizing this city. Yeah, I had sometimes three months, like three times a year that I do job. Ah, a decorator. Ah, ah, are you sure you're a decorator at all? And I was somehow discouraged. Ah, ah, no, no, how am I? No, I need to push her. I need to do that. I didn't have accessories. I didn't even have money support to buy my own problem. Fast forward to when I went to service. Because these things are desires of our hearts. We desire these things and we see them materialize consistently. Praying. We never, I never stop praying about what I want. My desires to become my reality. So I kept on pushing. I didn't know that it's just... When did I even go for service? Now I'll now meet a friend that is a decorator too, that has a sister that wants to relocate. Now this story can be, and she wants to sell her props. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, I want to buy you. She said, ah, Mama, do I even have the money? But faith kept on pushing me. 
So we came back from service three, which has sold out the important things that I could get. And what was just left was just iron for children. I said, okay, no problem, let me start. But the thing is, I got those things I was able to get, even some of them in credit. <laughs> so I was just doing some jobs just to pay off. Why I'm smiling is because I've just, we have gone through it. I have gone through a lot. Yes, I have gone through a lot where I don't even have staffs to help me then. I use my brothers, I use my, every, my friends, back to back, we are working. Yeah, so I did one job in, um, I did one job, I can't, I can't start calling the, the states here. The job flopped because it was versus what you ordered versus what you got. I've done jobs that my fireworks, I called the guy that did my fireworks and he burnt. You can imagine that kind of tragedy. Somebody's own beautiful, they burnt their stage, like a uh-uh, decorator. But you know that kind of thing will make you feel like Jesus. Are you sure you're not possessed? Are you sure you're good for this system? Leave it for people that know. Oh, we don't stop having. I did not stop knowing that my father loves me. No, there's nothing wrong with me. My sins are forgiven. Like I, I'm, I'm good at what I do. Of course, I have the wisdom of God. You get so. I broke out. I started buying materials. I started doing my things, calling good people. I can tell you now that my testimony is really. I used to struggle. How do people have staffs? I have staffs now. I have ladies that work. I have male that work, and I also have. My, my my client base has changed from from three to now fifty and as much as you can. Yes, so God is good. I have times where like I said, things have flopped to so my testimony is where my job don't get to flop again. How did I master the craft? It's just God's hand putting me orchestrating my path. See this year when I calculated all of the things I've gotten, how? When I saw the millions lying down in our store, like assesses, I'm like, how? Those people you feel like you're running after, going after them, please put me, sign me up as your, let me just have face too. Those are the ones now that sublet jobs to me when they are, when their booking is, is over and they give it to Sumi to do. So I thank God for all of the things we have done. I'm grateful that <laughs> the baby girl, the young event coordinator, decorator in town is, is moving because of God. Why is the secret is how God just helped me through this process. So my testimony is if you're there and you're trying to just do a business to just know that God loves you, have that in back of your mind, have it in front of your mind and push it there. You don't have support, you don't have a, anything, just know that God is your, is, is your advantage, you can do it just like I did it, how he saw me through. Even when I was doing business, my mom was still there, we were putting money and yet she still survived it. And yet she's still living till now. And yet the business is still moving. I'm no longer using my siblings except they want to come. I have people working. How is all of these things working? It's God. So I'm here to say thank you. And this is God's love for me. Thank you. Do you remember how it felt when you found yourself in a deep mess? When all hope was lost and all doors seemed shut? When friends were few and tears replaced laughter. When the money was out and luck lingered. When sickness ravaged your body and you envied those who could sleep. When your words were few and all you could do was stare. When fear ravaged your heart and oppression ate deep into your soul. Did you ever make it through? Did God turn it around for good? Let someone experience love. Hope, joy, impetus for action, help through your story. Be loud about your victory and be someone's light today. I've never seen this kind of love before. I've never seen this kind of God before. Who I be where you love me So say you came to die for me on the cross yeah. oh.